Farms, Texas. Well, I don't even know what day it is. I've been on Christmas break for so long. Uh, I'm really not even sure, but uh, I think today is Tuesday morning, I believe. Oh, it's been great having this vacation time. So what have we been doing? Well, we've been working on the trap. So this is telephone two, the working pins. And we've always had a problem and we are correcting it. So uh, we have cleaned out all of this. There's been major box blading going on throughout this whole area. So this time we've been working on the fence on the east side. We got a wood post every 10 foot. In between the wood post, we got metal uh, T post. We'll string six uh, things of bob wire. I've got an H brace coming in here. Not as heavy duty as what's on the road, but for what this is, the short little span of 100 feet, I don't need anything that severe. So I'm just gonna have the welder prefabricate uh, an H brace here and an H brace down there. That way we can bring them in, set them in concrete, and we can be stringing fence the next day. You can see we already got the holes dug. This right here is kind of an uneven, weird little section, so we're just gonna put some cattle panels here. This is the main area where we put the gate in here, 12 foot gate so that we can come in. We haven't mounted it yet. That's a very heavy gate. Uh, we got wood posts here, mainly because I had these six inch wood posts already, so I used them put T-post in the middle. I'm gonna come back and put cattle panels across this section. When I put the cattle panels, I also have some leftover two by sixes. So I'm gonna run a two by six top, uh, I don't know what you call it, not vertical, but horizontal uh, two by six across the top. Just more as a visual deterrent and also gives a place to anchor the uh, cattle panel. We can uh, staple it to that. So that should really give it some stability. The uh, two by six across the top should kind of dress it up and uh, we're making progress. So uh, slowly, but surely. The other thing we did, and guys who own ranches will understand this and guys who raise cattle and been around farming and ranching. So one of the things, my pet peeve is I hate a gate that doesn't swing. That's my number one pet peeve. If I gotta lift and drag a gate, I'm frustrated with that. Well, you can see over the years on a farm, there's one old gate that's rusted out. There's a chain link fence gate. Uh, my father-in-law, and when he came in here and set this trap up, originally he just put T-post and cattle panels, and it worked pretty well when the cattle were gentle and everything, but if you had one that was a really, uh, spirited yeah let's use that word they'd go over the top or tear it up so uh one of the things we did was we came in here and i just took all of these old gates like look at this gate you know these gates here were the bomb in their day they're heavy as can be this one is broke right there you can see something broke off the bottom of it. The wind will catch those gates because they're so heavy and sling them open and they break over time. Here's cheap little gates. You can see here's one where a cow went over the top, bent the top bar down. There's always something. This is an old rusted cattle panel. Once again here, uh, I forgot, oh, a tree fell on this one. That's what the story was, but you know, there's always something. You look, there's one, two, three more of those old school gates. They were so heavy, they just always broke. And I'll show you something. Because of the weight of them and how thin the metal was, they always broke on the same side. You can just go down there and you can just see where they broke. Start to realize things. So. A lot to be said for today's modern gates. Look at there, broke again. So this is the actual working pins. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's three sections. We got a gate on each end. This right here is the alleyway where we bring them in. It's kind of a bud box design. And uh, so this gate swings. It's not a tub, but it works fairly well. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna set a post or when this gate is open, it's at a 45 degree angle. The cows can't push against it. So once they come around, they're pretty much in the alley. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come out here on this end. We're gonna run two 12 foot panels out this way, set a couple of metal posts, 
And this is gonna be our loadout. We'll put a new post here and a uh, swing in eight foot gate. But as we get the cattle in here, if we wanna load them onto the cattle trailer, we'll move them into that 12 foot section. We'll have a gate to close behind them. And they only have one choice, which is get on the trailer. So a uh, lot of stuff going on, but progress. The weather's great uh, today. It's like gonna be 60 degrees, but we have major rain coming. So that was one of the things I was pushing for was I wanted to get all of my posts set because for the next 48 hours, we're supposed to get maybe, I don't know, three or four inches of rain. So, uh, which is outstanding because my ryegrass needs it. It'll give all of my posts a chance to settle before we start stringing bob wire. So I'm pretty pumped. Hey, Kubota 850 Sidekick. Have I told you guys I love that machine? Love that machine. All right, guys, glory be to God. Hey, hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you.